sweet. Maybe I'll collect your little switchblades, you frickin' pieces of shit. Okay, imagine that, that voice coming out of this guy's face. I'm sorry. That was funny. Whoa. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. What? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Butcher? How did you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. What? What? You said escort, like armored guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. What? Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. <laughs> this guy was a hooker, man. Uh, let's talk about something else. All right. Ooh! He was not kidding that guy. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Can I bring guns in at least? Oh man, if I had a lot of science skill, I could just hack my way through. Oh no. I don't want to have to pay for this. Credit check, what's that for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport, or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Oh, uh, uh, shit. Fuck. I'll submit to the credit check. I'm sorry, but your balance does not meet the minimum balance. Oh, no. If you are unable to meet the minimum balance requirement, an official passport is an acceptable alternative. Gay talk so bad. Except that Boris guy. That bastard runs his mouth a little too much. Hey, Ethel, what's taken? I want to know where I can make some more money, bro. Watch yourself. There's some unsavory types about. Yeah, well, you're you're just a thug. Fuck you. Where's Buddy with the suit? He knows how to make money. How much money do I even have? I have 753 caps. What's up, rich boy? Let's 
Sup, rich boy? Fuck! Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I had to huh. assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. <laughs> he stole the money. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back <gasps> to the freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Oh no, he's saying if you're gonna steal, don't fucking get caught. Don't get caught stealing! Why? Don't get caught stealing. That's the moral of the story here. Right, Veronica? Why don't you just I'll never see the haymakers coming. Keep your distance, okay? Why don't you just Why don't you just back up a little? Thanks. Th thanks, honey. Um We're just gonna ha just just give me a just give me a quick second here. I just gotta just gotta sit down. Just gonna sit down on this bench here and think about what uh, what I'm gonna do to make all that money. It's a really nice suit you got there. Yeah, why don't you just sit down there on the bench there and just kind of sit and shut up. Hey. Fuck you! You've left a poor impression on the community and you may be shunned as a result. Doesn't matter because I just got a 45 Magnum. Yeah, you talk rich. You didn't have a fucking dollar on you, bro. You didn't have a single frickin' dollar. Fucker. Alright, where am I gonna go?